what your favorite farm type says about you. Standard farm players are afraid of doing anything that they aren't used to. Even though they know trying something different could be fun, these people have many regrets, but deny it by saying they chose the safe option. The only way to get a standard farm lover to play on another farm is by heavily peer pressuring them. You can also get them to do anything else by using this method. Riverland farm players are ecstatic that their 100% mid farm was finally buffed with a new smoker. These players love nothing more than the Stardew Fishing minigame, and wish there was more to fishing even though the last few updates have already added a ton to fishing. If you tell them you aren't a big fan of the fishing minigame, they will immediately stop talking to you and go back to fishing. Forest farm players fit into one of two categories. These are players that are trying something new for the first time but don't want to try something too different or they just like the additional hardwood you get. Either way, these players are certain that their farm is much better than the standard farm and will have no problem telling you just how much better it is. Forest farm players are the most likely to wander around their farm admiring how beautiful it looks without realizing that going outside and looking at real nature would be far more beautiful. Hilltop farm players are easily tricked and were fooled into thinking that the quarry on the farm would be useful past year one. They understand that what they chose is probably the worst farm and they have accepted it and moved past it. Hilltop farm lovers have no enemies, they simply take life as it comes. If any of the in-game spouses had real thoughts, they would not like their farmer. These players are the most likely to survive a national disaster. Wilderness farm players are mentally ill. You cannot trust them. These people have chosen to make their life harder at no benefit of their own. You can turn any farm into the wilderness farm once you get into late game. They know this, and they don't care. The general response these players give to any situation, good or bad, is lmao. Don't expect to ever get a serious reaction from these players, they're too busy trolling themselves and others. If you meet a wilderness farm lover in real life, run. People on the Four Corners farm play the multiplayer farm entirely by themselves. It's not because they prefer it that way, it's because they have no friends. If you bring it up with them, they will deny it and simply say they just like the farm. Press further and they will burst into tears. If you offer to play Stardew Valley with them, you will never hear the end of, yo, you on? Yo, wanna play Stardew? Hey, let's hop on Stardew. If you are not fully committed to playing the entire game to full perfection, avoid these players at all costs. The beach farm Farm players are the biggest concerned ape meat riders known to man, and they have the biggest superiority complex ever. Oh, concerned ape prefers to play the game without sprinklers, it's better this way. No, it isn't. There is nothing better about watering crops until 1pm and praying daily that you get rain so you can be released from your watering jail. The people who play on this farm just because they like the beach look are equally as crazy. No good aesthetics are ever worth the sacrifice of sprinklers. I have a feeling that the the beach farm lovers are currently on their way to my location, so I will move on to the next farm. The Meadowlands farm is the new home of animal lovers everywhere. Starting with two chickens is the perfect start that so many people never knew they needed. These people watch cat videos regularly and will send you an insane number of Instagram reels. The number of reels they send is so large that you have to wonder if they do anything else. Do they even play Stardew Valley? Maybe they're just sending every single one they see. Meadowlands farm players also like getting oiled up by Mayor Lewis. 